Hi friends. I usually don't make videos. Actually, this is the first one I've ever made. But I have some really important information that I want to get out there. And I just thought it'd be more effective to reach people through video and more personable that way. So I wanted to let you know I was diagnosed with colon cancer about a month ago. And it still doesn't feel real to say I have cancer. It's something that I never obviously imagined would happen, especially in my 30s. Um, so my treatment plan, it's, things are looking really positive. I'll be having my surgery on December 18th. And there's a really good chance that I won't need additional treatments after that. Um, it seems to be caught fairly early. So I'm extremely, extremely thankful for that. I wanted to get the word out about early onset colon cancer. And it's really alarming, the trends of young people getting colon cancer. I know a lot of people, when I tell them I have it, they think, isn't that an old man's disease? And I know that's a conception people have, but in reality, it's really scary that like the past decade in particular, the number of people in their 20s, 30s, and 40s getting it. So I want to let you know, it's really hard to catch this young because we're not at that age where we're going for colonoscopies and screenings and different tests. And a lot of the time, medical professionals think we're too young to get this. So they might chalk it up to, you know, having hemorrhoids or Crohn's disease or colitis or IBS and dismiss it. And I just want to put it out there that wasn't my situation at all. I'm very thankful that my doctor uh, referred me for a colonoscopy as soon as I was having some signs and I had some other indications to get my butt to the doctor. So I was really thankful for that, but unfortunately, the reality is most young people that do go in, they get dismissed and by the time they find out they have colon cancer, it's spread through their body. So I want to tell you what signs you should be looking for. Um, for one thing, if you notice any change in your bowel movements, if you've been constipated or have diarrhea or have um, a lot of bloating and you just don't feel right. Um, those are some main signs. And another sign that I had was blood in my stool. And that was kind of a red flag for me. And I could have easily dismissed that as hemorrhoids, but I know my body really well and we all know our body so well that I just felt something was not right. And I want you to listen to that inner voice and I want you to be your own advocate because a lot of the time we know something's not right. We might ignore it because life is busy, you have kids, you work full time, but don't ignore it. Please go in and see your doctor if you're having any of the symptoms that I've mentioned and be your own advocate. If something doesn't feel right, just push and push to have tests done. Because if you find this early, it's very treatable and curable. And I want you to avoid not finding it soon enough. And like I said, it's about 70% of young people my age don't discover it until it's spread through their body. So please watch for the signs Go get checked out. And if you're 50 or over, I encourage you to go get a colonoscopy done. It's a very unpleasant experience, but it is also a life-saving procedure. So please listen to your body and be your own advocate. That's my main message. And I just, the goal is to raise awareness about this. So more people can get it treated before it actually 
gets to a stage where it's too late. Um, I'll keep everyone posted on my next journey and my surgery. Um, I've had an army of people supporting me and I love and appreciate all of you. And I'm gonna fight. The main thing that I have control over right now is my mindset. We all know that we have no control over anything in this life and when you're having health issues, that's especially apparent. But we do have control over our minds and I chose to be positive and I'm continuing to be positive through this journey. There's no other option and I'm gonna just give it everything I have and I'm going to be a survivor. So please get checked out. That's all I'm asking of you. It's, it doesn't take long, but it, listen to your body and be your own advocate. Thank you.